Okay, so necessity. Um, that's one of the things that Earthling Ed discusses when he's uh, uh, having these street interviews. Uh, one of the points that he makes is um, it's not necessary for us to consume animal products. So we, um, it's not it's not morally right. Well, he was, he was doing the questions with with the people, but the point he's making is it's not more morally right to to kill animals because it's not necessary. Um. I used the question though. He, how did he put it? Um, oh, I guess when he was talking about humane slaughter, uh, he would he would uh, put the question to the person he was interviewing: Is it uh, is it humane to kill an animal? That doesn't um, that doesn't want to die for for an unnecessary reason, because like there's euthanasia, like there's if the animal is sick, that's one thing, but the animal, all these animals that are being killed uh, for people to eat, they're not they're not sick, they're just being killed for people to eat. So it's, it's not necessary because we don't need to eat them. We can eat other things. So that's the point there. It's not necessary because we have all of these um, plant-based alternatives. And it's not necessary because we can be we can have a nutritious diet without eating animal products so we it's not necessary for for these animals to die and he makes the point of uh, your meal lasts um, maybe like 10 to 15 minutes and so it's very fleeting and then you don't really even think about your meal after it's all done probably um, but that meal if it was uh, from uh, made from animal products uh, that animal lost its whole existence its life is gone it was everything for them but for you, like 15 minutes of your life. It's a very good point. When you uh, think about that, their whole life versus your 10 to 15 minutes of a meal. Is it really worth it? It's not. Um, so he's Earthly Ned. He 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 has he has these uh, lists of questions that he he presents to these people. Uh, these points, like uh, is uh, well, I guess it was like questions he asked himself. So and then he, he, he knows how he feels about it. He's using, using logic. So he presents these questions to the people that he's interviewing. So one of these is, um, uh, is, is, um, is, is taste, um, is the value of taste, like sensory pleasure, is, is taste more, uh, 
more uh, important than life. The life of the animal. What? Oh, okay, this is how he puts it. What has higher value? That's how he put it. What has higher value? Taste of what you're eating, the animal product. What has higher value? The taste or the uh, animal's life. So what has higher value? Taste or life? So that's a good question. So uh, just because you, you uh, really enjoy how something tastes, is, does it really, does it really, um, is that really more important? Whether something tastes good, is that really more important than uh, the life, the life of an animal? There's a lot of insensitive people, so uh, I'm sure a lot of people would just... A lot of people would think that that what they eat, the taste, is more important. Was, um, I've met some jerks in my life, some incense, very insensitive people, so I'm sure a lot of these people would say, yeah, it's more important how this tastes rather than this animal's life. So that's sad. And that's the kind of thing that makes someone angry here and that kind of thing. The insensitive remark. This would make me angry. Especially like if you've seen the thing, like a lot of people are like ignorant of the whole situation. They like they don't even like they haven't even seen the things that I've seen. These these uh, videos, maybe they just don't want to see them, or maybe or maybe they're not aware of it. Maybe they just they don't even want to know about it. But after you've seen the 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 videos of uh, like the cruelty of of animal out animal agriculture and what goes on and with the slaughtering and and the abuse and how some people. Uh, some people that work in, in animal in these animal agriculture uh, these farms some of these people that work on these farms uh, it's shocking what they do how they just they abuse the animals and so when I see that it makes me very angry and uh, just just seeing these animals um, uh, being killed It's very uh, horrible. So it uh, it's just crazy. Thinking about how the world is and how there's so many people out there they just it sure seems like they just don't care all these animals are dying they just don't care they don't want to know about it that's what it looks like that's what it seems like so disconnected with what they're eating it's just a chunk of flesh they just think oh this tastes good don't care where it came from don't care about how the animal suffered and died for it all they think about is how it tastes so that's irritating So he asks, he asks other questions. Um, what does he ask? Oh. Um, 
like uh, culture. Should culture dictate morality? That's one thing. Like, um, I guess because of, like, uh, like one reason people people give for consuming animal products is because it's it's normal in our culture and uh, everyone does it and we've done it for a long time that kind of thing and and uh earthling so earthling ed would bring up the point with uh is should culture dictate uh right 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 or wrong uh because they they do they do things in other cultures that we don't agree with like uh the the Yulin, uh, they so they they uh, slaughter dogs in China, is it? And uh, so most people um, in uh, the United States and England, they're against the slaughter of dogs because uh, most people see dogs as companions, but. Uh, at this Yulin festival, um, they slaughter dogs to, to eat. So um, he he went to um, uh, Earthling Ed. He he uh, he did some videos on people that were protesting the 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 dog slaughter, and uh, a lot of these people. They um so they're against the they're against the the killing of the dogs, but they're not against the killing of pigs and cows and chickens and all that. So they're both animals. Well, they're all animals. Dogs are animals uh, who feel the same. They suffer the same as pigs cows and chickens they all suffer the same so if you're going to care about dogs why don't you care about the pigs and the chickens and the cows so that that's that's a good point speciesism yeah so that that's a good point. If you're gonna if you're gonna care, if you're gonna get all upset about dogs being slaughtered, you should you should think, well, why do I? Just because they're pets, I guess. It's crazy. Cause they all they all feel the same. And then, and then the thing about uh, pigs are are just as smart as dogs. Uh, some say smarter than dogs. So that's another point. Should should intelligence, like just because uh, how how intelligent an animal is, like people people uh, maybe some people think, oh well. Uh, chicken, chickens, uh, and cows—they're not smart, so I can eat them. What? So they—they all—they all feel the same. Like they all deserve to live. <laughs>